Adobe's AI Generative Extends tool is insane. It uses AI to extend your video and audio. I'm going to show you how to use it and some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of it. Okay, let's get into it. Before I show you how to use it, there are a few limitations that I've ran into. You can only use resolutions of 1080p and 720p, and it only works with landscape, aspect ratio, and not portrait. Now I've actually found a workaround on how to fix these problems, which I'll show you later in this video. Now let's have a look at how to do it. So I've picked a few different stock footage clips. Each video is quite different as I want to see how well the extend feature works in different situations. So I've got this clip of people in a car at night driving on the road. So let's extend this clip. So this is the new generative extend tool. So just click on that. And then as you get to the end of the clip, you will notice it will show up and then just drag it out. So it will only extend two seconds at the moment but I've actually got a hack on how to extend it even more, which I'll show you shortly. So as you can see, it says generating and it will show the percentage of how far it is through it. From my experience, it can take a minute or two to get it finished. So it's finished generating the extension. And as you'll notice, it will say AI generated in that extended segment. Now what you can actually do here is right click on that. If you're not happy with the generation, you can choose generate again. And you can choose to tell Adobe if it was a good or poor output. As this is beta, they want to gather as much feedback as possible. So let's have a look at it. So this is the normal footage and now we're in the extension. Oh, that got a bit creepy there. As she looked up and yeah, that is horrifying. Now I've actually done another version and it didn't have that weird face in it. So this is how the other version turned out, which is much better. But as you can see, there is another limitation. As soon as it hits the AI extension, watch all the textures in the image. They'll soon become flat and smooth. See right there. As you notice in the original footage, there's a lot more texture and grain on the road. But then as soon as we switch to the extension, it becomes smoothed out and we lose a bit of the fidelity and detail in the image. But it's done a great job at following the continuity of the shot. As you can see, the lines on the road keep appearing in the extension. And yeah, everything is moving naturally. Then if we come in here, you can see the people's faces. If I scrub from the original to the AI extension, they look the same pretty much, and they're just moving naturally. So let's have a look at some other examples that I've done. So in this shot, I've got a car driving towards the camera with some wind turbines in the background. Now I thought this might be a cool shot as there is the wind turbines in the background and the car going down the road. I was hoping that it would continue all of these motions in the extension. So let's have a look at how it extended it. So we have the normal shot and then the extended starts here. And it did a really good job. If I scrub through, as you can see, it does smooth out a bit, but it's kept the motion of the wind turbines and the car perfectly throughout the extension. And another problem I've noticed with the extensions is the image becomes a bit brighter and there is a subtle shift in the color. Now they have noted that these are problems that they were aware of, and I'm sure they will fix these in some upcoming updates. But this is an incredibly promising start to this tool. And then I wanted to try something a little bit more challenging. Now in this shot, I have someone running with a soccer ball and it's a very dynamic shot. So when I chose to extend it, this is the result. So it goes from the normal footage and here is the extension. And it is very, very noticeable when it kicks in. As you can see, it's nice and sharp and then boom, it becomes all muddy and just loses a lot of detail. I think this was because maybe the original footage wasn't that great, but I think it doesn't do well with fast moving detailed textures. And here I went for a more slow moving shot. So it's a close up of a couple holding hands and let's check the extension. So here we have the normal footage and here is the extension. And I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. 
As you'll notice, if you look at the textures on the clothing, as soon as the AI generated one starts, you'll see that pop in of the textures and it just smooths everything out, which is very noticeable. But I'm really impressed with how the hands turned out as they look really natural. And for this shot, I chose something with a lot going on in the video. There's a lot of hand movement in this one, so I thought it would be a good test for the extension tool. And here is the extended version. So I'll just start it a bit later on in the video. So this is the normal footage, and then the extension kicks in here. So as you can see, everyone kind of just stops, but the main two people in the blue keep on going. I think the actual overall shot doesn't look too bad. And I have this video of a crossing, so I thought it's quite a far away video and there's quite a bit of detail in it. So let's see how the extension looks. So this is the normal footage and then the extension starts here. And it looks pretty good to be honest. The funny thing is it looks like the people kind of just start floating. I think for these kind of shots, you would easily be able to extend shots and no one would really notice, to be honest, as the details are so far away. You could even use your AI generated videos from, say, Runway and extend those. And it even works well on animated types of shots. So I have this Lego character here, which I created using an AI video generator. And he's just talking, so I wanted to extend this. And here is the extended version. So it starts here, and it did a really good job. So here's a method that I've been using to extend even further. So I want to extend this shot more than two seconds. So all you have to do is select this clip and export that, and then bring it back into Premiere Pro, and then just do the extension again. And you can keep doing this if you want to. So this is the extended, extended edition. So it does a really good job at still continuing that motion and the animation. So I took the original footage from being around 4 seconds long to now being 10 seconds long, and it worked pretty well. So this has added 6 extra seconds of video. And I tried it for this video of a cartoon man walking as well. So this is the original footage, and this is the extended one. It managed to keep the animation of the walking the same on the character. So then again, I extended it a few more times and it did a pretty good job. But as you'll notice towards the end, it does start to create artifacts in the background, which I think is just a problem when it keeps adding extensions to extensions. It probably breaks down the video a bit too much. Now you can also extend audio as well, but you can't extend music. So I've got this video of a car traveling through the snow, and I've got this wind soundtrack in the background, but I want to extend it. All you have to do is use the extension tool, and with audio you can extend up to 10 seconds. So let's have a listen through that. Okay, that didn't sound too bad, but you can definitely notice there is a subtle change as soon as it hits the generated extension. Now you could probably fix this by generating again, or maybe splitting that bit and creating a crossfade in between. But other than that, it still sounds pretty good. Now, as I said before, there is a limitation where you can't work with portrait footage, but I'll show you how to work around that. So I downloaded some portrait stock footage, and I've imported them into my 1080p timeline. So I've got this footage of a bride, and it's in portrait. But all you have to do is rotate it 90 degrees, change the scaling if you need to, and then export that footage, and then bring it back into that timeline, and then you can extend it. And then all you have to do is take that extended footage, and then rotate it back to portrait in a portrait aspect ratio project. Another limitation was it only working with 1080p or 720p footage. So let's say you have some 4K footage. All you'll have to do is import it into a 1080p sequence, 
and resize it and then export it as 1080p. And then you'll be able to put it back into that sequence and extend it. Okay, so that's the end of the video. And I think the potential for this extend tool is really promising. You can tell it's still in its early phases, but I'm sure it will just get much better over the coming months. If you have any comments about this tool, please leave them down below. And if you could like and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. If you want to watch any of our other videos, then feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.